Princess did give me a call, so we're going to talk about that. Today is Valentine's Day, and Celebrity on the Celebrity Beyond is having the largest vow renewal at sea, which I think is so exciting. Captain Kate is the captain. And then also, so we're going to talk about that. And then um, what's, what is Princess doing for Valentine's? If you're going on a cruise to New England this year, we need to talk about a few things this fall. We need to talk about that as well as some other things. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison of Let's Go Travel Tips. Now as I said, uh, Princess gave me a, a call in response to the news that we had shared about the fact that um, Let's Go family members received mail in the mail asking for money acting and the people asking for it were acting like they were princess and so I wanted to let you know um, that they called and said the princess doesn't have a data breach so I thought that was really nice I very much appreciated that at the same time just everyone please be really cautious and um, careful about what you do be careful about what phone calls you accept and be really careful um, if someone requests money from you um, unless you're positive that you would owe them money don't send them money okay um, I do want to add that um, um, I just wanted to say, like I said yesterday, people can make it look like they are calling from a location that they aren't. And um, before I did travel, I only answered the phone from people that I knew who it was. Um, now, because I do travel, I do answer my phone. And um, it takes me, um, I have to sift through who is um, calling me, trying to do all sorts of different things and who um, real people are. So be very careful and very cautious with that, okay? Now, um, lots of things to talk about here. First of all, um, is anybody else having trouble logging into Princess? I mentioned this a few days ago. Am I the only one? I have tried like I've tried like Firefox, Safari, Microsoft Edge, and Chrome. Those are the browsers that I've tried. I've restarted my computer. I've um, done all sorts of things. I've tried it incognito, and I cannot get in. And what it does is. I'll log in and it, my password, my username and my password work just fine. And then it says, good news, you're logged in and it just swirls. And um, so if anybody is having this problem, will you let me know? And if not, I'll just know it's me and try to figure out, um, I'll just keep waiting, but it's been a couple of weeks now, um, at least since I haven't been able to get in and look at my bookings, okay? So I wanna know if I'm the only one having that trouble. And uh, now, like I said, um, so Valentine's Day is a big day with cruise lines. Cruises are often thought of among, among many other things like family vacations and sightseeing things and visiting exotic places. They can also be known as a romantic getaway. And so with today being Valentine's Day, I wanted to let you know, I wish I were on the Celebrity Beyond today. Captain Kate is the captain and they are having the largest vow renewal at sea. And it's really cute. They're making these little... Um, little bags um, with some little favors in them for everyone who is participating and um, like I said wish I was there today I would take you all with me and I think that I Gordon and I would thoroughly enjoy being there so I might have to put that on my list for some time in the future to be on that ship on Valentine's Day any of you if anybody happens to be listening and you're on the Celebrity Beyond or you've recently been on any celebrity ship or princess ship would you let us know how things are going but boy would I love to hear about today now um, princess also so does some fun things for Valentine's Day so I thought I would share that with you a little bit um, last night on our live we had um, someone share that they're on the Enchanted Princess right now and they said that today they are also going to have a vow renewal when we were on the love boat cruise at the end of October on the Discovery Princess part of that whole um, really fun love boat themed cruise was they did a vow renewal there in the um, piazza so all the people that were renewing their vows were on the lower level and then on the level up from that um, was like the love boat cast and um, and then lots of people were watching like all the way around um, like you know all the glass railing going up and um, it was just really fun so that would be really fun to see today as well so if anybody is on there and listening let us know how it goes put some pictures on our Facebook group we'd love to see them it's let's go travel tips and you just request to um, join and Gordon will let you write in but anyway I thought it would be kind of fun to let you know what princess has in mind um, they say that um, 
first of all, they're going to have a special menu. Um, it says that their um, the Valentine's Day menu includes tuna and salmon tartare with curry wasabi mayonnaise and pink relish. You could also have beef um, tornadoes and shrimp or risotto with butternut squash or arugula. They're going to have that princess heart of love like chocolate mousse. And then finally, you can have uh, sweetheart sugar cookies and chocolate dipped fruit. How fun is that? That sounds delicious. And then um, that uh, Rob Floyd, the mixologist for Princess, has made up two new drinks. One of them is the chocolate martini and the other one is called Sweet Revenge. So if you enjoy that kind of things, that will be available on board. They are also going to have some fun Valentine's Day um, events going on as far as uh, like activities on board. And I'm telling you this because I know that you probably, you know, if you're not watching from on board, uh, then um, you're like, well, I'm not there today, but you will know what they often offer. So next year, if you want to participate, you will know to book a cruise over Valentine's. So um, it says you can do such fun activities like making a card. You can um, send a singing telegram. How fun is that? Watch rom-coms on and, um, like you know romantic comedies on the movies under the stars screen it says couples who want to elevate their romantic spirit experience on board can also renew their vows with multiple package options and so like vow renewal is always an option on a princess cruise right they don't always do it in the piazza with lots of other people but people will opt they've got they've got a beautiful wedding chapel like on every princess ship and so do the other cruise lines by the way um but um, i'm more most familiar because i've seen the ones on princess and um it is really nice they do a really good job you select your package with what you want included with it and anyone that has had that done um, has only said good things about it. I have only heard good things. And so it's really um, special. I did a video about um, the vow renewal packages and everything. So I'll have Gordon find that and link it below for you if you're interested in something like that. But I've had several people tell me all about doing it and it's been a really special occasion for them. Now um, it says val available. So here's an, an interesting thing to me. Um, I love that they list like um, this um, news story was released on February 4th, <laughs> but I've been saving it for today. But they listed um, some of the Valentine's Day cruises, which it's a little late to do something about it this year, but they've got the seven day Mexican Riviera on the Discovery Princess that left February 4th, a 14 day Eastern and Western adventure on the Regal Princess that sailed on February 5th, and then the Hawaiian Islands round trip from San Francisco on the Royal Princess departing on February 10th and so I'm sharing that with you as well they do these cruises all over the place and um, if that's on your bucket list plan one for next year okay and if you need help with that you um, I'd love to get an email from you I am happy to coordinate um, anything that you would need if you want to renew your vows if you just want to go on a cruise right then whatever you need there I'm happy to help you now, um, another big deal, um, Princess announced, and we've had so much other news lately that I thought it was a little bit more pressing, so here I'm telling you about it today, but on February 8th of 2023, where we are here, um, it marked a year until the Sun Princess is supposed to sail on her inaugural cruise on February 8th of 2024. Um, I am booked on that. I am really excited to go. It looks like the Sun Princess is going to be a whole new experience for people that have cruised on Princess a lot. I am really looking forward to seeing it. I think she's going to be absolutely beautiful. I am anticipating that there are things that I will love about the ship and probably like every ship there will probably be a few things I'm not quite as crazy about. I think that happens to all of us, right? You go and you're like, oh, that was wonderful, but what? And so, um, but you know what? I just, and you know, I could easily be wrong thinking that because I really enjoy the princess ships an awful lot, but it will just be really fun to see what they're doing with the Sun Princess. I am so excited to go to the Mediterranean on her. It's going to be a really fun cruise and a very special cruise as well. But they just announced, Princess, um, who the new captains are. And to me, I feel like that's a little bit of a change. Usually when they anyone debuts a new cruise ship, don't they usually announce one captain? Um, that's a question for the comments. Let me know if I'm off on that. But they've got two captains that they have assigned to sail the Sun Princess as she starts. And they also say that they are um, going to be anticipating the inaugural um, 
the inaugural sailing and working um, with that ship for the remainder of the construction phase. But it's going to be Captain Craig Street and Captain Paolo, Paolo Arrigo. And then they're going to have staff captains Brian Whalen and Valerio Esposito. The hotel general managers, and see there's two of every one, right? So um, the hotel general managers are going to be Ralph D'Souza, and I feel, I'm sure I've been on a sailing that he has been that before. That um, name is so familiar to me. And then also Simona Stumberger, and the chief engineers are going to be, I am sorry if I say it wrong, Gitano Guida and Davor Pavlovic. Califo. So I am really excited. And so the fun thing I wanted to tell you about the Captain um, Craig Street, he um, first, um, the first ship that he was um, the captain for was the Star Princess. Been to Alaska on the Star Princess. I love the Star Princess. Star Princess is no longer in Princess's fleet. And then the really fun thing about Paolo Arrigo is he is the um, captain who they chose because of his rapport with passengers and how um, easygoing he is with people. He was the captain of the Regal Princess when they were filming the Real Love Boat TV show that they did for a little while there. I thought that was really fun to know. So it'll be really fun to see when we hear new news releases about the new Sun Princess getting ready to sail. Now, really quickly, if you didn't know this, um, Princess has until through February 16th, they have got a reduced deposit sale, and I don't think, I'm not positive, they usually have some ceilings that it applies to, and sometimes it's to all of them, but they've got a reduced deposit sale that you only have to put down $50 per person on a sailing. And so if you have been waiting to book a cruise and uh, you're like, oh, well that would help my budget out because I've got so many other cruises to pay for or you're gonna work up to that one, um, however you're doing it, I just wanted to make you aware of that. They say there's like up to 35% off cruise fares as a part of that, but that's been running for a really long time. So that part isn't so new. Now, um, a really interesting thing that I wanted to also let you know about is I keep seeing this in emails to me and in the comments um, it popped up again. So here I just want to tell you. So you know if you book the Princess Plus package or you book the Princess Premier package, shipping of the medallions to you is included. If you don't book those it's $10 per stateroom, all right, to have it sent to you. And so if you are worrying, um, like wondering about this, like don't let it bother you. So we usually don't, we don't book the plus package or the premier package because, um, well, it's um, not in our budget, but also because we don't drink alcohol. So when we look at what is the value and how much we'd spend on our Wi-Fi and on our gratuities, um, it's not worth it to us. It is cheaper for us to pay for our Wi-Fi, our gratuities, and um, the um, soda beverage packet, the classic soda, I think is what it's called. But anyway, and I'm going to do a breakdown. I'm going to do a video about how do you decide what package you should pay for and what's worth it to you. But anyway, in the meantime, it's not worth it to us. And so with the announcement that we're going to now have to pay $10 a cabin or pick it up at the port, Gordon and I are just going to pick ours up at the port. So many people commented when this change came out that it is really slick to pick it up at the port. It only takes a couple of minutes and you're on your way. And so, like, just don't even let it bother you. Okay, don't be worrying about it. It's really a, a convenience charge, right? Um, Princess has to pay the postage on shipping those medallions to you. And if you don't have one of those packages booked, you can pay for that convenience or just stop as you um, get on the ship. And so the next time we go on a Princess cruise and we just pick ours up at the port I will show it to you but I'm anticipating that it'll go very smoothly so don't let that bother you another quick thing to talk about is um, I got a, an email from a let's go family member and they are booked on a New England and Canada cruise this fall and um, they were saying that on the itinerary it says that they are going to be either sailing out of Manhattan or are out of Brooklyn and they are wanting of course to plan their travel plan their hotel and all of these things and they're wondering how you're gonna do that because they have called princess and when they asked I called princess and they said well you're just gonna be emailed about which port you're gonna sail out of whether it'll be the port there at Manhattan or Brooklyn and um, I asked if they knew when they would be emailing and they didn't know and so 
clearly um, we don't know when you're going to get that email. And so if you want to go ahead and schedule your flights and schedule your hotel, here are some things to think about. And this is what I would do if it were me. And I do want to add, you know, my sister did the Caribbean Princess on the New England and uh, Canada sailing last year. She went from New York up to Quebec. And the thing that um, I asked her um, last night, I'm like, how did, you, how did you find out? And so hers always said that they were gonna be sailing from Manhattan. So I think it's um, maybe a new thing. And I looked at all these itineraries this year and they say Manhattan or Brooklyn. But here's the good thing. Uh, so first, so they do offer transfers. And I know that at the beginning of the season last year, people were having trouble with transfers in New York City. So always have a backup plan. I haven't changed my mind about that. No matter where you're going, have a backup plan. But um, it, towards the end, things were going much better with it. So hopefully whoever they had contracted to handle those transfers were doing a, a smoother job and got it figured out. So um, they offer three different excursions if you are boarding the ship there in Manhattan or Brooklyn. So you've got the option to go on an airport transfer that goes from Kennedy um, International Airport, from LaGuardia, and from Newark. So you can be picked up at any one of those and go on an airport transfer with Manhattan highlights that goes for six and a half hours. I love that option because now what you can do is where you're flying from, simply look and see like where's the best airfare to. Fly into that airport and all of these airports, I've looked, I'm familiar, they have a hotels close by. Book a hotel right there, take your airport shuttle over, the, you know, the day before, the night before, whenever you're going to get there. The next morning, take your air, um, hotel shuttle back. Or if you're, uh, you've are you chosen somewhere that doesn't have a shuttle, just grab that taxi, go back to the airport and catch that princess transfer. Then your day will be filled with, filled with some sightseeing there in um, New York. And you won't have to worry about trying to decide and waiting until the last minute and then trying to get flights in a hotel when they finally decide to tell you which part they're going to sail out of. Because I don't know if it's going to be next month or if your sailing's going to go in October and they're going to tell you in August. And so that's what I would do. I would check my airfare, pick the cheapest airport, and I've been to all three of those airports before. They're all, they're both, all three of them, sorry, are very busy airports. So I don't know, um, unless you want to do come in even earlier and do sightseeing from a certain location for a certain reason. But if you want to go into Kennedy and get that, um, you know, book a car into New York and see things, um, that's my favorite airport if I'm just going to New York for that. But um, if you want to do that, then take the transfer from Kennedy. Um, I just think that's a great option. The other thing I want to tell you about that port there, I know firsthand from my sister in Manhattan. So what they did is they took a red eye. They were really busy the day before, so they couldn't fly in. So they took a red eye and got there. So then they're there very early in the morning. They went out to the port and there was seating for them. They were there by like eight o'clock in the morning, of course. There is seating, but there's like no food, no drink, nothing to buy, nothing to get there. And so, um, this is really kind of funny. They found an Uber Eats driver that would bring them food there. And so then someone else said, hey, where did you get your food? And they told them, and their, uh, the port people would not let that Uber Eats car in. So take food with you. Take water with you. If you've just landed at the airport and you decide you're going to head out to the port, um, make sure that you take food and water with you because you're going to have a long wait because they're not going to do embarkation until their regular time. And I know that's not like the optimal way to do it, but that is just like in the crazy circumstances that they had right at that time. That's what worked for them. And they said that there were other people there in that same situation. So sometimes, you know, you just do your best when you're going on a cruise and managing everything else in your life. But I hope that some of you find that valuable. Now, finally, yesterday I talked to you just about how smoking laws have changed in Mexico, just so that everyone can be prepared for that. And then I also noticed, um, I've been trying to follow up a little bit because sometimes, um, you know, remember like sometimes, um, a couple of times Ensenada has been missed as a port because of violence there. And um, I, there is a new update on the State Department's website about um, Mexico and so some people um, I think are really worried about it and I think that they're um, you know to me just this is just me um, it is more risky you know if you're going to go down and stay in Mexico 
Does that mean I'm telling you not to do it? No, it doesn't mean that. It means be very cautious. But at the same time, since we talk about cruising so much here, I want you to remember if you see these warnings and what's going on in some places down there, just remember that the cruise lines are very conscious of your safety. And if things happen there that um, make it so that it wouldn't be safe to take you there, they won't take you. At the same time, like, use your head, be really careful about what you do and who you do it with. And so I just, everybody use your mind, uh, your head. I try to always remember to use my head. Um, but then um, I just wanted to let you know the cruise lines are on top of what is going on in all of the ports. And so that doesn't mean don't book a cruise to Mexico. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about anything else, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences. I very much appreciate all of you for being here with me. Welcome to all of those who are new. We have gotten some new Let's Go family members lately, and I am grateful for everything that you bring, grateful for everyone that has been here with us, because um, you guys are all amazing, and I am so grateful for you and for your amazing insight and for everything that you share with us, and so I look forward to hearing from you. And if you're on a ship now or you've recently been on a ship of any cruise line, please let us know how things are going. We've got lots more to talk about tomorrow, some big news coming from Celebrity, and um, yeah, I'm really excited. So I will uh, be, t oh, and you know what, if you appreciate these videos, would you please give this one a thumbs up? I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.